In the last video, we saw how to query the file system for getting data about our files. That was working well, but now we really want to start with the blog. So, as I said at the very beginning, we are going to have inside our pages a bunch of markdown files. And now you will see that I change a little bit the files uh, and thanks Dan Aramo for your content because yeah, I, more or less I copy some of his posts and I put them uh, here to make a better example. So if you've seen any blog, you will see that in the first page they show a couple of posts uh, with, for example, the title, um, some small description. So the idea of this video is to get the list of the markdown files that we have over there and we are going to show some data of them. So let's do that. Let me show you first our GraphQL. If I start a new query, I press Ctrl space and I have access to a bunch of things that I can use, like all side page, blah blah, yeah. But I don't have anything related to how to query markdown files. But for doing that, there is a plugin that we are going to install right now. Let me stop the development environment and let's install the following. Install Gatsby Transformer and it was called Remark. Okay, and it's ready. And every time we install something, we have to add it into our config file. So let me copy the name and open the Gatsby config. And I will put it somewhere over here. Yes, um, prettier. Okay. I've also added other plugin which is called typography. I won't get into the details, but more or less it gives you a better styling for the fonts. But let's focus on the transformer remark. We have to restart the development environment and I show you the magic that it's happening now. Let's refresh our GraphQL interface and now once again control space and let me zoom a little bit. I hope that's better. And you will see that here we have another prop which is all markdown remark. Um, let's play it. Okay, more or less this is not useful at all. But let's check if there is there are more properties. Here, for example, we can access to the front matter of every node file. And um, yeah, actually we are getting now data about our markdown files, which is awesome. And we also need the excerpt. How is it called? Work on Helen. Yeah, excerpt. That's a really ugly word. And um, let's play it once again. No, we have the excerpt, the from mother title, and the date. I think that's everything we'll need for now. So let's start building the index for that. As we did before for the file queries, we need to export and const, which is going to be our query, and then we use GraphQL. And the only thing that we now we now have to do is we copy the query and we put it here. Let's put here that okay. Ah, yeah, it's not working because. I need something over here. Okay. We know that everything 
that it's inside the query, it's going to be inside the data property. And here we can take the data, which is this part of the object. Then we have to go inside all markdown remark, then edges, which is a list, and we can map over there. Each of them we have the property node, and inside the node we have the information that we need. So we can destructure the object over here to get the node, and we will have the data available. So let's put something like an H1 for the node, We don't need this. Okay, yeah. Welcome to my blog. Preparing for a text talk, motivation. Okay, this is the title. Um, yeah. This is really, really big, actually. I don't like okay. that. And after adding some styling, we have the post style over here we have changed the title and now we have the date and the title all coupled together and then the served. let's see how it looks yeah it's better than before right it was breaking my eyes to wrap up this video more or less what we have done is we installed this remark plugin which allows you to create a query that will get the content of every markdown file and then we use that query to show the data in our index file and yeah now what we want to do is to click over every post and get redirected to the post and we would like to see the data and that's what we are going to do in the next video